Stylus Studio is an integrated suite of editors, debuggers, and utilities for XML and related XML technologies like XQuery, XSLT, XML Schema, and others. The scope of utilities Stylus Studio provides for creating and working with XML documents is truly breathtaking. But give us five minutes and we'll give you the Cook's Tour, some of the best of the world's best XML IDE. The File Explorer gives you direct access to local and network directories, with a filter that lets you view only file types associated with Stylus Studio and the project window helps you keep your XML development projects organized. Both of these windows are dockable, so you can move them around your Windows desktop, or close them entirely to maximize the space for the Stylus Studio editors. In Stylus Studio, even something as basic as the XML editor has been carefully thought out to provide unrivaled flexibility and power. Plain text, tree, and grid views, all of which are kept synchronized, Sensex auto-completion, and built-in support for numerous validation engines like MS XML DOM and SAX, Xerces J, Saxonica, and more. All editors in Stylus Studio are customizable. For example, you can change default color settings, specify whether or not you want to use SenseX autocompletion, and customize the behavior of built-in spell checker. There are separate settings for XSLT, XQuery, Java, and XML schemas modules too. In addition to editors that let you create new documents from scratch, the Stylus Studio Convert to XML module makes it easy to convert other document types, like flat files and DDI, to XML. Stylus Studio Document Wizards provide a quick way to jumpstart XML development. You can create XML from XML Schema, HTML, DTD, as well as from different flat file formats. You can also use Document Wizards to create XSLT from existing HTML, and to create Java Servlet and Java Console applications from scratch. If you have legacy data stored in a relational database, you can use Stylus Studio DB to XML data sources to render relational data as XML and to update your relational tables with changes made to that XML. During development, you can take advantage of Stylus Studio tools like XML Diff to help you track changes in your documents. Like other editors, the XML Diff Editor provides you with multiple views, allowing you to select the one that best suits your requirements and work style. You can also choose the parts of the documents, comments, text, attributes, entities, and so on, you wish to include or exclude from the differencing engine. XML Schema is vital to solid XML application design. Using Stylus Studio Document Wizards, you can convert EDI, Edifact, as well as XML to XML Schema. And the Visual XML Schema Editor lets you modify and design XML Schema using a graphic user interface with a test pane that displays the XML as you make your edits. Stylus Studio's XQuery and XSLT editors have a preview function that lets you run your code from within Stylus Studio. Extensive debugging support for XQuery, XSLT, and Java lets you set and run breakpoints. Automatically launched watch, variable, and call stack windows provide detailed information about your code and the debugging process. And when you're ready to evaluate the performance of your XSLT or XQuery code, you can use Stylus Studio's profiler to capture performance metrics for your XQuery and XSLT. You can display performance metrics in a customizable HTML report, or save them as raw data. An important development tool for XQuery and XSLT is the Scenario feature. Scenarios let you experiment with different input files, parameter values, and post-processing and performance metrics reporting operations, all from the same XSLT or XQuery document. And if none of the many processors supported by Stylus Studio float your boat, you can specify the custom processor of your choice. We've already talked about Stylus Studio's text editors, but what if you're just learning XQuery and XSLT and need help beyond that provided by Sensex Autocompletion and built-in validator support? Stylus Studio mappers for XSLT and XQuery let you create code graphically by mapping nodes from a sample source document to nodes in a document that represents the desired result of the XQuery or XSLT transformation. And while you map, Stylus Studio displays the corresponding code in the text pane. 
Even complex code like flower expressions can be created simply, easily, and error-free. Mapper is not only powerful, but it's a great learning tool, too. And when you're done with testing and tuning your XSLT and XQuery, you can use Stylus Studio to generate Java code. In addition to incorporating information from the scenario into the generated code, including the source file, the processor, and whether or not you want to perform validation on the XML output, Stylus Studio lets you specify the Java package and class names to generate, and other options, including whether or not you want to make the generated classes public. If you have defined multiple scenarios for a given XQuery or XSLT document, you can generate Java code for one or more of them at the same time. The generated Java code, which you can compile and run within Stylus Studio, also includes instructions needed to unlock the access to the Stylus Studio Custom File System API, through which the adapters are exposed, allowing you to easily deploy applications you develop with Stylus Studio on any Java platform. And Stylus Studio makes it easy to incorporate web services in your applications. Dozens of published web services are available through the UDDI registry, like this stock code web service made available through X methods. Once you locate a web service, the web service call composer displays supported operations available from that web service and templates for the SOAP requests associated with those operations. You can edit SOAP values graphically or directly in the template text. When you click Send Request, Stylus Studio submits the SOAP request to the web service and returns live data. You can save web service call compositions and use them anywhere in Stylus Studio you would use an XML document, as a source document in the XQuery mapper, for example. I guess we kind of raced through a few of Stylus Studio's many features at the end, didn't we? If you missed something, we encourage you to download a trial copy of Stylus Studio and get acquainted with Stylus Studio at your leisure. And rest assured, other videos of Stylus Studio features and modules are presented at a more moderate pace.